Hello and welcome to our channel. If you are new, please subscribe. Today we are reviewing a fairly new electric scooter, new KQI2 Pro. New Technology is one of the leading providers of smart urban mobility solutions. So far they mostly manufactured seated electric scooters, but recently they also entered the market of electric kick scooters. Many reviews have already said that KQI2 may be the best cheap electric scooter in 2022. Some even say that it has a strong potential to become a serious competitor to popular Xiaomi and Segway scooters. Is the new KQI2 really that good? Let's find out! The new KQI2 Pro is a commuter scooter. Since the scooter doesn't have suspensions, it's mostly meant for the urban environment. If the distance of your daily commute is up to 25 km or 16 miles, the scooter would be a strong choice. It's designed for people who are at least 14 years of age and weigh up to 100 kg or 220 pounds. The frame of the scooter is made from aerospace grade aluminium. It seems very solid and durable. At the same time, the scooter weighs just 18 kg or 41 pounds. Also, the wiring is integrated into the frame. It makes the overall look of the scooter very neat and stylish. The new KQI2 Pro electric scooter is equipped with a 300 watt rear hub motor. The acceleration of new KQI2 is very smooth and gradual. However, if the weight balance is off, the front wheel might even come off the ground. I weigh about 90 kg, which is about 200 pounds, and the scooter had no problem accelerating to the top speed. When talking about top speed, it depends on where you buy the scooter. It's the same scooter, but the top speed is limited according to the local laws. So the top speed in the US model is 17.4 miles per hour. The EU model has a top speed of 25 km per hour and the model built for the German market has a top speed of 20 km per hour. I have an EU model and for me the top speed of 25 km per hour for such a commuter scooter is exactly right. One cool feature is that you can set your own speed limit below the scooter's maximum. For example, if you let your kid ride the scooter and want to limit the top speed for safety concerns, you can easily do that using the new app. The KQI2 has a battery of 365 watt hours of energy capacity. It took about 7 hours to fully charge the battery. New claims that the maximum range is 40 km. In real life, you should never assume to get that result. Manufacturer range tests are usually made in ideal conditions. In my range test, I used the top performance mode and kept the speed as high as possible. I managed to ride 25 km or 15.5 miles. It's actually a better result than most other scooters in this price range. The official hill grade of new KQI2 is 15%. I tested the hill climbing capabilities on this bridge ramp. I'm not sure what was the exact hill grade, but it was quite steep. Surprisingly, the scooter managed to climb this incline very easily. The top speed on this bridge ramp was 20 km per hour. The scooter comes with a drum brake at the front and an electric brake at the rear. Both brakes are activated from the single brake lever on the left side of the handlebar. The brakes are designed so you would never fly over the handlebars in case of strong braking. Additionally, the scooter has regenerated braking. It converts the friction from your brakes into energy to propel you forward. You can set the strength of the energy recovery from the app. New KQI2 Pro electric scooter comes with 10 inch wheels. Most cheap electric scooters have smaller wheels than 10 inches, so KQI2 is definitely a step up here. Although the scooter doesn't have a suspension, these pneumatic tires help to absorb some bumps on the road. If you lower the tire pressure to the lower limit, you can increase the ride quality even more. However, don't expect to have a great ride experience if going on an extra bumpy road. I tried to ride on a cobblestone road and got a quite awful brain massage from it. The new kick scooter comes with a nice grip tape installed on a deck. It feels like sandpaper and provides a good grip even if your shoes are a bit wet. In addition to that, new has provided one spare grip tape. The deck itself is 16 cm wide, which is about the average in this price class. For me, there was plenty of room to comfortably accommodate my feet. It's even possible to place your feet next to each other. 
the handlebar feels comfortable. It's a bit wider compared with other similar scooters. Also, on the right side, there is enough room to install the phone mount. The display is bright enough even under direct sunlight. You can read there the current speed, battery level and speed mode. If the new KQI2 electric scooter is approaching you, the stylish halo front light is probably one of the first things you notice. Inside of this halo light, there is a proper night light as well. It provides enough lighting to be able to ride in the dark. Additionally, there is a red rear light with a brake light feature. Plus, there are reflectors on the side and front. On the scale of portability, the new KQI2 is rather portable. Although the handlebars are not folding, the scooter can still easily fit into the trunk of most cars. The folding mechanism of KQI2 seems very good. There is no stem wobbling when riding. It takes just a couple of seconds to fold or unfold the scooter. Also, there is a locking mechanism at the rear, so it's easier to carry the scooter. As mentioned earlier, the weight of the scooter is just 18 kilograms. It means that it's light enough to carry for a couple of flights of stairs. One strong feature of this scooter is its long warranty. The most expensive parts of the scooter like the battery, motor and frame are covered with a two-year warranty. It's really exceptional since most other manufacturers provide only a one-year warranty at best. If the company can have such a good warranty policy, it definitely shows their confidence in the quality of their scooters. To sum it up. I can easily say that new KQI2 Pro is an excellent electric scooter. It has everything to become one of the most popular electric scooters in its class. Yes, it has some shortcomings like no suspensions and no zero start feature. But the Pros like great build quality, sufficient range, long warranty and affordable price outweigh the cons easily. So, if you're looking for a trustworthy commuter scooter, you can definitely consider new KQI2. As always, Thanks for spending your time on our channel, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next videos.